What's up guys and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and today we're going to be continuing on with yet another battle mode. Now in the last time we did this I believe we did the bomb on battle which was pretty darn cool and does that mean we only have one more left to go? I'm pretty sure, but we're gonna go ahead and play Yoshi. I don't think we've played Yoshi yet. We'll go ahead and do the black and white Yoshi because of course it's pretty zebra-tastic. Oh, we got ourselves a new car. Oh, I like that one, but I don't think it really fits Yoshi too much. I don't know how Yoshi drives on it. Um, what could we actually, I really like Yoshi with this car because it reminds me of Mario Kart DS because I use that combo a lot in Mario Kart DS. And it, I don't know, that's just like one of my, that might be my first Mario Kart game, like properly played through, but Okay, so now we have a few more left. We have coin runners for today. That's what we'll focus on. We'll do three minutes, all the usual stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And I want to do Woohoo Town because, you know, you go Woohoo there. And usually you only go Woohoo if you're having a good time. I've never heard somebody go Woohoo and be like in tears crying. So let's hope that, that stays the same because I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But I think with coin runners, it's just basically you get coins. You just pick up as many coins as you can. And I'm sure that if you hit other people, it will take away their coins. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens, but uh, we'll find out together. Oh man, this Yoshi looks so cool. Man, this car is awesome. Here we go, coin runners. So we do have quite a few enemies. I wanna go ahead and just go straight. And let's snag this, ready? Yep, yeah. Okay, I'm already in the lead. I have, I don't know how many coins I have. I have three, which isn't too many. Oh no. But I mean, I can get rid of other people's coins, but the problem is that I probably have to pick them up, which is where things are gonna get a little sketchy. I don't like this. But I can imagine that if we get a bunch of coins and we're in the lead like we are now, it might even be better and smarter to play a bit of a game of keep away. Cause it seems like, oh wait, snipe? No, I couldn't snipe you. <laughs> oh, maybe it was foolish to try. Yes, it was. Okay, come on, I'm back down to one coin, so I haven't done so well so far. I wanna be back to being king. Oh, okay, here we go. Catch that. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Give me that coin, no! Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, I get the jump. Oh, you know what? How, mu how much you wanna bet I can snag some coins here? I, I don't know how to do this, but I think that maybe if I jump at them, because I've done that for the balloons. Ready? What? Darn, I missed. <laughs> you get out of there. Clean this time, Lemmy. Ooh. Oh, I got him, but I got myself too, or something. I don't know what really hit me. We are not winning right now. Um, I wanna sort of hit Boo, but I don't know if this is gonna work. This is so ridiculous. I love it, but it's crazy. Okay, so that person we just passed. Oh, it looks like with the Animal Crossing female villager is the one that, oh, I'm not gonna hit her. Had the um, trophy, so maybe I should go after her. Oh, I hit a mushroom, I didn't even realize. Ooh, cut around here. There we go, I love the control on this, it's fantastic. Get this coin, oh, I'm in the lead! I really just gotta play keep away. Like, pick up coins that are just in the environment, not worry about attacking people, even though I just did there by accident. I got the boomerang now, which is good for attacking, but not good for keeping myself safe. Ooh, ooh, oh no, whoa, what? Whoa, how did my boomerang switch places there? That was really weird. I guess that's what happens if you throw it out and pick up another item. Huh, cool. I'm not in the lead right now. Oh, now I am. I'm tied with Lakitu, I think. Ooh, what, what, what? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> okay, come on. I keep on missing the coins is the hard part. I got about a minute. Ooh, back in the lead. This is a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it? Ooh, I'll throw that back there. I can imagine this, this is the kind of game mode that's probably a little bit insane online. But I mean, I haven't really talked about it too much, but since I've last recorded this game, I think the sales records for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe have actually been released, and I thought it was like sort of interesting. So I wanted to talk about it in like today's video, and I thought it was really cool because apparently it's like one of the best selling Mario Kart games yet, like better selling than the original, which sort of makes sense seeing how the, you know, the original was on a less popular console. But that's just really exciting because one thing, it just means we have more people to play this game with, and um, it means that, you know, Things are off to a good start with the Switch. I am not in the lead. I'm not finding any coins around here. Oh, I did not win. How far behind was I? Okay, just by two, which isn't the end of the world. I'll stick with it because that doesn't mean I'm gonna lose everything overall. But man, pretty cool. All right, let's try Battle Stadium. I just like this one a lot because it just feels so official. Like it feels like the premier battle course, even though we all know that Battle Course 1 for the Super Nintendo is. I don't know, this one feels cool as well. I mean, they just did such a good job at like making all the tracks look beautiful. And like, that's the thing I really like about it. Okay, let's get ready. 
I'm gonna mess this up, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I had a feeling. My feeling was correct, but not correct enough to prevent it. So, you know, what's the feeling if I can't act on it? Ooh. All right, so I already have a few people to attack. But yeah, the, the fact that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sold well is really exciting to me because it means that hopefully they will port over more, you know, Wii U games. Like, that's sort of my big hope. I've talked about that in some previous episodes, but hopefully that, you know, stays the truth. Oh, I hit you, but you didn't have any coins. Come on now. Cough up the dough, yo. Get that. Oh no, I hit my face right into the vent. So I'm not winning right now, but who is winning? Lakitu Mario. I'm not really worried as long as, like, Lakitu. Or not Lakitu Mario, Tanuki Mario. I'm I'm worried if Lakitu and the other person who was in the lead, who tied for first wins. I think it was the Animal Crossing Villager. Ow, oh, come on! Jeez. I need to use this feather properly, though, because I'm really curious. Whoop! Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> I can only imagine, imagine it's like a one in a million shot to actually do that. I think it would almost be better to get into the lead and use the uh, the feather as a form of like escape. Like, that might be better because like you could just like hop up this ledge if people are chasing you or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna go like this, and I see a few of you. Oh, there's the Animal Crossing villager once again. I need to get her beat. That's gonna help me out. I don't wanna. Oh, oh. No, you don't. No, you don't have that. Oh, I hit her again, and I have another bob bomb. I, I'm a little bit more in practice with bomb bombs because of the previous battle mode episode, so that's pretty nice. I'm not in the lead though, still Tanuki Marion. No, don't hit me. <laughs> he almost did, I think he was thinking about it. Oh gosh, there's action happening everywhere. As long as I have like a decent score though, I'm not too far behind first place each time, I don't think I'll lose. Oh geez, look at how many coins these people have. Whoa, hold on, hold on, I got a red shell. This is the first time getting a red shell today. I definitely wanna use it against somebody who has a decent sum of coins. I guess I could have used it against you, but instead, I mean, no matter what, they only drop two coins. I can't believe I missed that one. I haven't been hit too much, which means I'm probably gonna get bombarded right in the last few seconds of everything. Ooh. See, you really can throw the boomerang back and get an other item in between. I, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's really cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I hit you? I don't think I hit you. Once again, if, as long as I can survive with what I have, honestly, it wouldn't be a bad trade. Oh gosh, he had a lot. I'm gonna cut through here. and. And if I could just try to snag one person with my coins, I meant with my feather, and see if I can't snag their coins, that would have been a good opportunity then. Well, I'll take yours, thank you. Yes, right at the end! Can I really get it right at the end? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I got this, no! Where'd it go? My treasure, my win, Link's in the lead? I haven't seen Link do anything recently. Like, I didn't even know Link was in this group of players. Jeez. Well, you know, I'd rather him win then, because that means then, um, ooh, ooh. Another free coin. Oh, I'm in the lead, I'm in the lead for the last final seconds, yeah, okay. I just snagged that one with like one coin. I beat out Tanuki, Mario, and Link. And uh, once again, we were worried about Lakitu and Villager who dropped way down to third and fifth place, so we're doing all right. I'm not gonna complain too much about that. I feel like we haven't played Luigi's Mansion in a while, so I figure we'll go ahead and do that. The only thing about it is that it's probably my least favorite battle map. Not because I feel like it's bad, I just, I always get like sort of like, not actually lost, but I feel like I'm totally lost in the fray. It's just sort of like a weird, it's supposed to be like a tricky map. Do I, I don't have coins, but the, the, the village over there has fair coins, or has some, what am I, I can't speak. She has some coins behind her, which isn't really fair, because I don't. And that's sort of another thing, this map isn't symmetrical, and I understand most of the maps aren't perfectly symmetrical, but this one's really asymmetrical, so it's just like, Oh, it, it, it just doesn't sit with me too well. Like, that's why I really like, you know, the Battle Course 1 for the Super Nintendo, because that one's like, really symmetrical. Like, it's exact same thing on both sides. I'm pretty sure. Oh, get out of here! Even if I can't get their coins because I'm moving too fast, I can at least get rid of from them having it, which is good. Oh, no, oh, I'm gonna snag one. Okay, I'm doing all right. Look at me. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> somebody tried to take it away from me and I took it right back. Oh, I missed that, really? Here, come on, right set. There we go, there's some coins snagging. I wish I could have done that with somebody who had way more coins, but two coins is two coins. I wonder if I could really steal like a whole group. Like, I mean, I have another one right now, so maybe I could find out. We're not sure I could just run up on somebody and steal like 10 coins. That would be so cool though. Like, it would be the ultimate skill move. That would just be really fun. So I don't think there's anybody that's gonna be waiting for me at the bottom of the staircase all that much. Like, I see you right here. And Oh no, you're running the opposite direction though. Here. Oh, I missed them. I missed them. No, sir. 
have a bomb. No, nobody's there to take that bomb. Except for people who <laughs> were already hit. That's not good. Come on, go, go, go. But yeah, so what kind of games would you like to see on the Switch? Like, that's sort of the thing I'm like curious about right now is like, you know, we talked about porting games over, but what about new games? Like, you know, that's what I'm sort of like thinking like, what new game would have to be on the Switch to consider it a must buy? I mean, a lot of people are probably going to talk about what has already sort of come, which is a new Zelda game and a new Mario game. The new Zelda game's already out, and the new Mario game is on the way, which they've also confirmed that Mario Odyssey is gonna be shown at E3, which is like in a week or so. It's it's like the 15th or something? I thought it was earlier than that. Oh, oh no. Hold on, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. <laughs> I'll snag some of those, thank you, and I'll- Ow! You booty butt! You get back here! He literally took the crown from me. Come on, come on, come on. This is not gonna do anything for me. Get those, no, come on! Is my throw to be taken from me right at the end? Give me this. No, stop! Stop it! Come on, come on. Ooh. Get that, hit you because you have the most coins. Wow, you dropped so many coins, dude. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. What happens if I like, charge into some? No, okay, don't charge into that guy. <laughs> yeah, the triple greens. What, I only had one use in that boomerang? Fine. This is not turning out so well for me. No, why me? I had like 10 coins before, now I have four. Oh my gosh. Ooh, wop, wop, wop. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Come on, that was awful. Oh, luckily, I'm like still in a decent chunk of a lead, but if I lose like that again, I'm definitely gonna fall behind again. So that's not good, I don't like that. And now, Urchin Underpass. I mean, that's another game that it's just like, Having that on the Switch is like a must buy, and that's Splatoon 2. So there's like, that's really what I want from now, is like hopefully a year from when the Switch releases, there's enough on it to make it so that you have no reason not to own it except for just not being able to afford it, right? Like there's so many good games on it that it's just sort of the best thing to buy for your money. Cause I mean, 300 is a lot for a console, but hopefully that'll just go down over time and the library will just get stronger. You know, like that's sort of what the hope is for most consoles. And that is how it happened with like the most successful of them. You know, it's like the Wii and the Wii U, like yeah, sometimes they weren't the, best selling console, I mean the Wii was, but the Wii U wasn't. Like, but by the end of it now, you can get those consoles for really cheap, and the games for really cheap, and they have tons and tons of good games. And that's sort of the big thing about it. And hopefully, you know, we see that for the Switch, but it's also a huge success. Whoop! Ah, oh, you moved left, and I and I didn't. Come on now. I wanted you to move right, you move left, so feel my wrath, because now I'm upset, because I only have two coins. Ooh. Here, catch! Oh, come on, you didn't get, wait, no, I think he hit my other green shell. This is just such a mess right now. Uh, speaking of which, I totally missed that boost. Get that. Okay, I got one of them. But I mean, that's just insane right there. Mario Kart, new Mario game, new Zelda game, new Splatoon game, and ARMS, which I've been having a blast with because uh, there was the uh, global test punch and that was so much fun. I can already confirm that I'll be making videos on the full game once it releases or as soon as I'm allowed to post videos on it, so that is super duper fun. Oh boy. Ooh, come on now. Oh, okay, so I didn't get hit there though. Oh, catch, catch, yes, thank you. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm not in the lead, but I do have six coins, which isn't too bad. I wanna try to finish off a round with more than nine, just have like double digits would be pretty cool. That was a pretty good snipe right there. You tried to throw your red shell, but that was sort of a bad throw. So just like angle-wise, I wasn't even there. And get that out of here, because like having the one floating shell usually isn't too good for protection and just ends up being a waste of a slot. But I am in the lead right now, whoa! So I could really just, maybe just like hang out up here. Like I will know if somebody's wrapping around, right? Can I cheese this? Can I really just cheat it out and just hang it up here until somebody you know, does something scary? The only problem is that other people might get the lead. But as long as like, oh geez, here comes Lemmy. Here comes Lemmy. Hey Lemmy, hey Lemmy, catch! Oh no, <laughs> Lemmy, Lemmy came prepared. Okay, I'm still in the lead though. This is where things get scary. Oh, yeah, get out of here. Get that coin, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ooh, I got 30 seconds, I need to survive. Oh, I gotta get this. No, my item, he snagged it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same strategy on this side if I can. There is a person here, Wendy. Um. 
get that. There we go. You don't have any. You don't have any coins out. Okay, you just leave. I'm just gonna chill it up here and enjoy the chaos. Enjoy the view. We have 14 coins. Look at us. We are the champs. We are the champs. Go, Yoshi, go. They're coming for me. Baby Rosalina is about to come for me. Oh God. Darn. I could have. I was gonna uh, try to throw my boomerang back and hit her when she comes around the corner, but. She did not actually have time to. But look at that, 37 total points. We destroyed the competition because of the 14 coins we got. If we didn't get any coins that round, we actually would have been tied for first. Yeah, we would have actually been tied for first. So you could tell that we still had a you know, good amount of padding. But there we go, we won, which is pretty darn cool. We'll get the big gold, not trophy, but crown. Which I mean, really, isn't that better? Wouldn't you rather get a golden crown than a trophy because like the trophy is put up like on a like a little counter or display or something and like that's it but the crown you could wear that you can't wear a trophy on your head at least not without it being extremely uncomfortable i'd rather get the golden crown so luckily we have i want to go see what our new item is uh let's just pull grand prix up and find out together pull up black and white yoshi again we got ourselves some new wheels. Ooh, I like these. These are the Cyber Slick, which are the same as the Slick, but are still pretty darn coolers, which I don't actually, we don't actually have the normal Slick wheel. So, all right, there we go, a good balance. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this funny video, make sure you comment Zebra Coin, so now you've watched it in the video, and you are a Zebra Task if you are. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.